Have you ever wondered what it's like to stay in a traditional guest house in the Hungarian countryside? A place where you can also enjoy some nice local wine. Well, this is the place. Let me show you around. Let's go. Woo! Today we are in the region of Szekszárd, a roughly two hour train ride away from Budapest and an area that's famous for its local wine. Our place of stay is the Fritz Birtok, a large estate where wine is being produced, but it also offers rooms for those who wish to spend some more time in the peaceful countryside and enjoy some food and wine related experiences. As our first activity, we wanted to explore the estate a bit, which quickly became a full on adventure. Not only is the place big, but there are many small items and details everywhere you go and discovering each and every one of them is a fun experience on its own. We've been wandering around the estate for several minutes now, maybe half an hour, just admiring all the little nice details. And you know, there are stuff that you might even just miss if you don't look carefully, like this cute fellow here who's hidden in the grass. Very nice. No visit to the countryside can be complete without meeting the local cats and dogs. Some of them will be very happy for your visit and some will be a bit more careful with making new friends. We haven't even went inside yet, but there are already so many winemaking reliquia all over the place and some nice traditional Hungarian motives. And I can't wait to see what will be found inside. What's really cool about these old traditional guest houses is that they've been run by the same families for generations. And here you can actually learn about the Fritz family who used to own this very estate. Exploring the estate with the many interesting details made us super excited already and we haven't even checked out our room yet. Entering the room felt like we were visiting our grandparents in the countryside. The nice plates used as decorations on the wall, the ceramic jugs, the old window and the nicely painted furniture with Hungarian motives filled our hearts with a warm and cozy feeling. It really brought back memories of visiting grandma back in the day, especially when we found out that the table was actually a part of an old sewing machine, just like the one our grandma used back in the day. Do you know what an old countryside house sounds like? This is how it does. If you come to Hungary and look for some nice souvenir items, I highly recommend looking for pottery work or textile work that has some motives like this. And if you want to see what other souvenirs you can get, maybe check out our video about Hungarian souvenirs too. The many hills of the Szekszárd region offer some peaceful hiking opportunities for those who wish to enjoy some time in nature. And since there are many different wineries in the area, we thought we might use them as milestones for our adventure for the day. As we got higher on the hill, we got this nice view of the flat distance of the Hungarian plains, a view that was best at the top of the hill where a little chapel was built. This here is the Mouse Chapel and I think that name is just excellent because it's small, it's cute, just like a small mouse would be. After enjoying the view and discovering the small chapel, we continued our hike downhill to visit a winery in a valley called Loiver. The place was super different from the old school countryside winery vibe of the Fritz estate we stayed at and perhaps a bit modern for my taste if I am looking for a weekend getaway location, but that doesn't mean their wine can't be good. 
It was an ideal place for a brief rest after our hike, to get a coffee and naturally a glass of wine. We didn't need a lot of convincing to purchase some bottles to take home, and even though our bags felt a bit heavier, that one glass of wine helped with continuing our adventure in a good mood. One of the aspects of this trip that I really enjoy is of course wine, and Sexad is a famous Hungarian wine region. And the history of winemaking in this region goes all the way back to the Roman Empire, when Emperor Probus, who was from Pannonia, this province of the Roman Empire, he was also really a wine enthusiast, plus he really wanted Pannonia to prosper. So since that time, people here in Sexard region and in Pannonia have been making some excellent quality wine. We then made our way back up the hill and targeted another winery in the area called Tokler. A large estate that offers many different food and wine experiences for those who visit. We stopped here to grab a few bites along with, of course, another glass of wine. Since our place of stay was close by, we didn't mind buying some more wine here as well, and as we carried our bottles home, we were already focusing on our evening program with excitement. Let's go! I have to be honest, I love wine, but I am not an expert. I am very bad with flavors and my palate is just terrible. But I always wanted to participate in a wine tasting and experience the many different flavors a winery can produce. We started out with a big healthy bowl of soup. My producer had a traditional young hen soup and mine was the so-called legénfogó soup, which roughly translates to bachelor catcher. Although nobody needs to catch any bachelors in our household anymore, it was a really nice soup to start the evening with, along with a cool white wine. We then moved on to tasting the local rosé wine on offer, and after having two glasses already, we were definitely in the mood to try some more and explore the cellar of this estate. It felt like we were sucked into one of the Harry Potter movies, thanks to the dusty and old walls, the small little details with some mystical and enchanting vibes. <laughs> Maybe it was the wine in our head, but I was absolutely expecting a wizard to pop out from one of the corners. Our guide explained the history of the cellar, and we started going even deeper, not just by tasting the different wines one after the other, but by literally exploring the underground area even more. And it was a really huge cellar, one that could host a large wedding even. Everywhere we looked, there were so many interesting details, Thanks to the few glasses of wine, we started fantasizing about the stories behind some of these antique keepsakes. It felt like taking a stroll in some kind of museum that tells the story of the family who built this estate over generations. It was also fun to learn about wine a bit more. As someone who's enthusiastic about this drink, it was really pleasant to have this private experience with our guide. I didn't have to worry about asking stupid questions in front of some wine experts. And even though my producer doesn't normally drink red wine, she actually liked this experience and tasted some reds that she also enjoyed. We stayed here for three nights, and each night we had some excellent Hungarian dishes. Even if you not wish to stay here, you can visit the place for the food and drinks only, as it also functions as a restaurant. On our first evening, we got talked into trying their strudel, and from that point on, each evening we had to close the day with some lovely Hungarian rétes. And if you do stay here for the night, the breakfast here is probably the most traditionally Hungarian you can start your day with when it comes to other hotels and guest houses. Perhaps it's not the healthiest, but on holidays, 
Who minds a bit of guilty pleasure like sausages, salamis, or pork fat cracklings? So this was our experience here at the Fried's Beer Talk in the Saxard wine region. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and maybe if you subscribe you will also see our future videos. By the way, if you love wine then we have some videos about some other wine regions here in Hungary. Maybe check those out as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in our future videos. Cheers!